know beyond the moon i am doing a peek at your person love tarot reading all right so leo sun moon rising and venus if this does not resonate please check your other placements for messages there feel free to cross watch but don't force anything to fit okay leo um and also stick with me till the end i am doing all the way from aries to pisces each zodiac sign and see who you're dealing with and what's going on so stick around and please subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. All right, Leo, like, wow. Um, somebody has major regrets for hurting you or doing you wrong. Um, they want you back because they see you shining like a diamond. I keep hearing that, si that song by Rihanna, Shine Bright Like a Diamond. Um, and I feel like you're just not dealing with it right now. You're just... <laughs> You're moving on, you know, you're just doing your thing and shining bright. So your overall energy, we have soulmate and never ending story. So there could be a soulmate bond, a karmic uh, that keeps going round and round. It's like false start, false start. You may have given them a lot of chances or you just feel like dating in general or relationships in general have just been kind of like one karmic after another or a lesson after another and things aren't changing. Um, and I feel like now you're taking it upon yourself, Leo, to change, you know, how dating is going for you or relationships and you're not putting up with nothing. <laughs> yeah, look at So your person has between worlds mending and come to the edge. They're really trying to move out of this dark energy and come towards this bright sun energy. I feel like they want to mend this with you and and be that fool and take a leap of faith, which, or they want you to take that leap of faith with them. <sighs> oh boy. Yeah. Clean it up. They want to clean it up. <laughs> Could have been a third party situation or involving more than just you guys uh, in this connection. All right. So let's get into it, Leo. Your person's current energies. Keep in mind, as I say, your person's current energies, it could be yours. So feel free to flip flop and reverse. Same with you, cross watcher, okay? All right. What's going on? Leo's person. What's going on? Current energies, please. Six of swords. They want to move into calmer waters. After they probably made a mess and you're just not dealing with it. All right, what else? Current energies, current energies. King of Pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like they want to... Ha, ah, King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There could have been more than one person involved here, or I feel like your person really wants to uh, take some kind of stand here with this or come forward with some kind of truth and clarity. Um... To have some kind of stability here. Yeah, they want to level up. Something to do with house and home. 11-11, make a wish, twin flame, soulmate. Um, something to do with house and home. Next level of commitment and a reason to celebrate. Hmm. Yeah, they're stressing. They're watching you too. I was getting that as well. They could be looking on your soul. They're seeing you shine. So they're, they're watching you somehow through social media or through friends of friends or something. It's stressing them out, but they are very much thinking about you. Very nostalgic, looking back at old pictures, memories, videos, time together, time spent. Um, for some of you, you could have children with this person or there's something to do with kids or a playfulness or a young youthful energy. Um, all right, so let's see blockages here. What's blocking this connection for Leo? What's blocking this connection? Well, they have regrets. There it is. There was a burden here. Someone was conflicted. Now they're heartbroken. And the Empress, Taurus energy. Yeah, that ultimate, I'm going to take them, all of them. So someone has a lot of sadness, loss, regret, remorse because they were conflicted or, or made bad decisions here and it caused a major burden, all right? So the happiness between this was broken and painful. There could have been, for some of you, I'll get a little dramatic here, there could have been um, a pregnancy from a third party situation or 
um, something like that that was found out and now there's heartache and pain. For others of you, it could have been like a parental figure that got involved, a mother, father, something like that, or somebody was in another connection, or you have children with them. So place that how you see fit, okay? Uh, anything else for a blockage here? Hmm. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could have been another fire sign that got in the way here, or this is someone who could have been acting... Um, like single, fun, flirty, attractive, outgoing, adventurous, spontaneous, not really committed, acting single. All right, and ruined, whatever this, whatever this was. All right, let's see. How do they truly feel about you, Leo? How do they truly feel about you? Um, keep in mind, this may not be the truth, but it's their truth. It's how they see it and how they feel. All right, so we have uh, the Emperor, Aries Energy. Five of Wands, heated, passionate arguments, disputes, competition, one-upping each other, too many people involved, Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, very chaotic, chaos, conflict, wishy-washy, in and out, gaslighting type energy going on here. I feel like this person, Leo, felt like you were trying to like control this or be dominant or be the boss of this connection and it caused a lot of arguments. I feel like it's almost like a battle of the ego and I'm not saying that to put you down. I'm saying you're standing up for what you believe in and they could have been very wishy-washy in and out which I was already getting and you were just trying to stand up for yourself and be that fiery fierce energy that you guys carry and this person is like taking it the wrong way, you know? Um, I mean, you got to do that when someone's gaslighting, rushing in and out, love bombing, or actions don't match words, or false promises, or whatever. I mean, it's natural. You need to take a stand for yourself. So again, that's how they're seeing this. Like, you're really putting your foot down here. All right, what else? How else do they feel? Six of Wands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Leo, you are shining bright. You're probably getting a lot of attention. You're being very independent, looking good, feeling good, putting yourself out there, having fun, and getting a lot of attention from other people. They see that, and that could also be why they're thinking this way about you. Like, oh, Leo is so controlling and dominant and bossy and whatever because they couldn't live up to expectations but really it's just don't screw you over you know like it's not that hard um so i feel like now they're seeing you really shine be in the spotlight creating your own victory and success and that's probably what's really hurting them or really killing them inside because they fucked up <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see what else. Yeah. So there could have been a lot of passion, desire, chemistry. There was definitely a painful ending because this person's emotions or they were really immature. There could have been an age gap. Definitely. They weren't on your level. Or they didn't feel like they were on your level or they, they just couldn't level up with you somehow. I feel like this person had some insecurities going on, so they had to do things to make themselves feel better. But in turn, it, it hurt this connection. Yeah, now they're feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. Because you took a stand for yourself. And you're, you're glowing. You're, you're having like some kind of glow up here. All right, let's see. Potential outcome. Potential outcome for Leo. Keep in mind, um, there's that five of pentacles again. You both have free will. You can both change your mind. This is just a potential outcome. Yeah, all right. There, there must have been a third party situation that was going on here, Leo. I feel like you're kind of just abandoning this. You're not, like I said, you're not having it. Something that you thought was going to be awesome and amazing, this person screwed up royally and wants back in, and I feel like you're just not having it. You're really standing your ground here. Yeah, Seven of Cups in reverse. Four of Swords. You're healing. This person may have, like, left you completely confused. 
Like, you just couldn't understand why they were doing the things they were doing or did the things they did, and it left you extremely confused. And now you're healing yourself. We have Six of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be dealing with an air sign again. He's showing up here twice. Um, but I feel like this is more saying, like, you're really finding your balance. You're working on yourself. You're putting in that work and effort. Um, and really standing your ground. You're being very cold and cut off towards whatever this this person is trying to do here. You're, you're, you're holding back. Yeah, you're making that choice. <laughs> In love to be happy. Wow. Whoa. You have a whole... Wow. Leo, you have like a whole new beginning with love, stability... Good communication, a true soulmate. Who is this person? Queen of Swords. So now we have the King and Queen of Swords. You're protecting your energy from whoever this person is. You really are. You're protecting who if this is an air sign, it doesn't have to be. It could just be someone who is like not emotionally mature or just very logical or you're, or you're being cold and cut off. You're protecting your energy. You have, look at this, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, the Lovers, and the World, and Eight of Wands. You're making some kind of big decision here to really go after a true soulmate. And you're ending like karmic cycles, I'm sensing. Like you're putting an end to karmic cycles. You're just sick of them. You could have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag coming towards you. Or that you're rejecting. To move on to calmer waters. Yeah, there you are. You're making your luck change. Like you're changing your luck. Whoa. And moving things forward. I have the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Empress, the Sun, Chariot. Yeah, you're you're moving forward. I feel like you, Leo, you are glowing up. You may have choices in love. You may have multiple people coming towards you. I do see um, a separation between you and a person and then like a very fiery, passionate um, desire, sexual attraction, chemistry, that kind of a thing um, coming towards you. It could be a fire sign. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but it's someone where you guys, your, your energies are in alignment with each other. All right. You guys are going to understand each other. You're going to be on the same page. You're really manifesting that. I see a beautiful new beginning happening for you. All right. What's the biggest obstacle here? Schizophrenia. You, you have to trust yourself on this. You're not going crazy. This person may make you think you're crazy. You're going crazy. Um, listen to that inner voice, okay? Um, and trust yourself here. Overcoming laziness or procrastination. Past life karmic and compromise. Overcoming all of that. Those are your obstacles here. Don't put something off. If you're working towards a goal, don't put it off. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition on this. Okay? All right. Let's see. What other messages for Leo? What else do we have for Leo? Compromise again. Twice compromise. You may feel like you had to compromise a lot in this connection. Um, and that's something you need to overcome here is like, I'm not compromising as much anymore. Like you're really, that's what I'm saying. You're like really standing your ground here. Um, and then we have regret, remorse, life regrets, loss. This person has major regrets, major regrets. All right. What else for Leo? Stabbed in the back. Yep. Painful ending right here. There was definitely a painful ending. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. All right, what else? What other messages for Leo? What other messages for Leo? Thank 
Okay, you camera reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make new memories. Yep. All right, let's see. We're going to go Aries to Pisces. See who you're dealing with and what's going on. Leo dealing with an Aries. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to enter into the 10K giveaway. Please hit that like button to help me circulate this reading, this video. And also, if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. All right, if you're dealing with an Aries, I feel like they want to come towards you and make some kind of romantic uh, love offer, gesture, uh, offer an apology and be that fool and take a leap of faith. So it could be an Aries that you're dealing with. That energy did show up a lot. All right, Taurus, Leo dealing with Taurus, Leo dealing with Taurus. Uh, Taurus, I feel like, is a little bit unstable, either financially or just in their life. I feel like there could be a lot of uh, jealousy, possessiveness, uh, always wanting a new beginning in love. They chase. Taurus chases. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they're chasing love, and it's not a stable way. It's like a needy way. All right, dealing with a Gemini. Gemini. Uh, Gemini is holding back because they're trying to put down some kind of a burden with a family situation. Cancer. Dealing with a Cancer. Cancer is conflicted, very confused. Cancer is very confused. They don't know what the heck they want. They want romance. There could be a Pisces in Cancer's uh, energy coming through and they're confused between the two of you. All right, Leo, dealing with Leo. Uh, there could be a reconciliation with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this person wants a reconciliation with you and they want it to be long-term grounded and loyal. All right, dealing with a Virgo. You could live at a distance from Virgo or there's some kind of ending for a new beginning with a cycle. All right. Yep. Uh, so if you're dealing with a Virgo Leo, their wish come true would be to have a new cycle with you or start a new chapter with you. All right. Libra. Leo dealing with Libra. Libra's juggling. Libra doesn't know what they want. I feel like they're juggling. Yeah. They could be giving to two. I feel like that's a third party situation written all over it with a Libra. All right. Scorpio. If you're dealing with Scorpio... Like Scorpio's got no regrets. They're just wearing their heart on their sleeve. You may have cut off a, a Scorpio and ended a cycle. They're feeling left out and they're, they may be trying to come back to you and showing way too much emotion. <laughs> All right. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius may want to take a leap of faith. Yep, the Sagittarius wants commitment. They're trying to manifest a higher level of commitment with you and, and hope you take a leap of faith. All right, Capricorn. Leo dealing with a Capricorn. All right. Um, they really value and appreciate you, and I feel like they want to have equal give and take with you or have things be really balanced if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Aquarius. Leo dealing with Aquarius. Got transformation happening here. An ending to bring new beginning. Uh, you are rejecting an Aquarius to work on yourself, and you're really protecting your energy when it comes to them. All right, Pisces, or vice versa, okay? Pisces, dealing with a Pisces. Ooh, Pisces has a lot of sleepless nights, high anxiety. They feel like their hands are tied. There could be a pregnancy involved here, but they are watching you on social media or they're trying to... Uh, they need to walk away from something. They're feeling very stuck and it's stressing them out, all right? Leo, that is what I have for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button. And until next time, love and light. Take care.